The 2016 Kia Soul EV is a flip phone in a smartphone age. Its comparatively limited functionality is justified only by its relatively low asking price. Function, of course, is relative. In the utility sense, Kia's electric hatchback is an electron-powered pack mule. But as a form of mobility, the Soul EV still has a functional deficit. Its 27 kWh battery pack is good for an EPA-rated driving range of just 93 miles, 2 miles better than the average we saw during our testing. That said, 93 miles on a single charge is enough for most Americans, considering that the average commuter here drives less than 30 miles each day, according to the U.S. Department of Transportation. However, in a market that's soon to welcome the $37,495 Chevrolet Bolt and its EPA-rated 238-mile range, the $36,800 Soul EV Plus is only months away from being woefully outclassed. Note that those prices do not factor in any possible federal, state, or municipal tax incentives. Even without the prospect of the Bolt, though, the Soul EV is an irrelevant electric car option for most Americans. That's because Kia limits sales of the model to just 10 U.S. states, California, Connecticut, Georgia, Maryland, Massachusetts, New Jersey, New York, Oregon, Texas, and Washington. Odd as this may seem, such a sales strategy is nothing new in the world of electric vehicles, and a number of manufacturers take a similar approach. This is usually done to comply with individual state standards regarding the distribution of zero-emission vehicles ZEVs. Unlike some of those other so-called compliance cars, the Kia Soul EV doesn't feel as if it has been converted to run on electricity merely for the sake of